Thank you. I'm going to scrap my entire closing statement in favor of something far more important, and that is the GM issue. You know, trying to keep GM here with their piddling 300,000 car production last year is like when I might have been a teenager trying to keep that old girlfriend who made it perfectly clear to me that I have no interest in ever seeing you again. And that's the message we're getting over and over and over again from GM. We have the best auto-making facility in the world right here. And you know, when McLaughlin started the McLaughlin Buick Company, you know, he eventually merged with an American company, General Motors. So a change in our auto industry is not new for Oshawa. And I'm submitting to you that there's a need for another change. With our plants here, and most important, our free access to the American uh, market for all of our production is something the Chinese people would want. You know, it's tough to get into that market. And so we can make these cars here, with get our plants working full steam, the product is made here, and the Chinese would have access to the American market. I predict a giant bidding war for our plants. Everybody would want these best plants and that access to the American markets. So, if I would just consider, the, China is the largest automaker in the world. If I could just consider the fourth largest of those, the Dongfeng Motor Company, while General Motors made 300,000 cars in Oshawa last year, they made three million cars in China, and they're the fourth leading producer in China, and they have a stated objective of expanding internationally. They would be right in that bar line trying to bid for our plans. And, you know, the worst situation in that, we can think of the worst situation, is our storied Oshawa generals might become the Dongfang Tigers. Now, that would really be a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> but those jobs that we can get to get full production, all of the wealth coming to Canada, all the wealth and jobs coming to Oshawa, I think is worth letting GM go. Don't try to keep them, encourage them to leave. That's the real answer, because we're losing, we're losing, ladies and gentlemen, we're losing opportunity while we're wasting time.